running lanes. The running back is number four, Sabri Curtis. He's going to get the first carry. And Curtis met at the line of scrimmage by the nose guard. Julian Laurent, just a one-yard gain. Harris wants to go to the air, has time, and fires to the outside and off of the hands of his intended line for the Tigers. Harris to the air, looking for Steven Newbold, the sophomore who's back on offense from the 27. No running room. McKinney being able between the offense and defensive line right there, running free. In the Their number one tailback tonight, Earl Harrison, who's out with an injury. Heavy rush. Harris jumps up to elude it. Now runs to the sticks, has a block out there, and picks up the first down. And you see Treon Harris two seasons as the Gators quarterback. He was all SEC freshman team in 2014. Passes thrown, drops it in over the coverage, and that's complete to Patrick Smith. There. Throughout the season, teams are going to force him to make these kind of plays. And in my notes by Patrick Smith, I just wrote stud. <laughs> Curtis gets the handoff, gets shot down immediately. In his 21 games of the Gators quarterback, 15 of those starts, he's going to roll to his left and has some room out there and fires, complete at the sticks, and that's a first down catch by Devon Johnson as he gets. Quarterback is to make him do everything from the pocket right there, lose and contain is Michael Shaw, the junior, letting him get outside the pocket. Reed's team was a prolific offense a year ago, averaged over 30 points per game. Harris... Throwing for the end zone, jump ball for Patrick Smith. He went up and could not hold on to it. Just a battle for the ball, running out of field right there. Is Newbold. Receiver combo of Newbold and Patrick Smith. Over 100 catches between the two of them a year ago. Curtis around the right end, down to the 50. Curtis. Close to the first down at the third game. If they can run the ball and the receivers they have, uh, they're going to score a lot of points. Harris right up the middle, has a man to beat, beat him. Stiff arm and goes down at the six-yard line. Backs in the Sun Belt Conference earning preseason first-team honors. Defense in the open field. The fullback, Andrew Knox, now lines up and gets the handoff. And Knox gets down to the two. Of course, a star linebacker himself for the Tigers back in the 80s. To the goal line and stop shot. Big play right here, ball security is a must. And Knox did not get into the end zone. Holding the line of scrimmage, everybody's in their gap and Trey Payne being a stout. I was penetration up front by the D-line of Georgia State and good protection for Treon Harris. Harris fires quickly. They miss a tackle out on the edge, and Steven Newbold up to the 48. So a backup wide receiver, but Newbold and pa Patrick Smith, two very dangerous weapons. They go to Devon Johnson on the other side, and he can't run under it at the 11-yard line. Out. He didn't kind of just run it out right there. Got behind. On Harris, a very prolific passer. Yeah, and when you have a year out, you are able to get out and practice things you used to not be able to do. Right here, big run. Cutting the defense in half right there is Tennessee State. Tennessee State pushing Georgia State around in this first quarter. Backside blocks, as I said earlier, is the key to beating a 3-4 defense. The center and the backside tackle. In Eric Evans, who rushed for close to 600 yards a year ago. And the handoff goes to Curtis again. This time he gets cut down and eight. Ball inside the 20 for the Tigers. To the end zone. Jump ball. And Patrick Smith can't come up with it. His head at the end. Just needed it. 71 seconds to play in the first quarter. Harris with time to throw. Scrambling now. Now reverses his direction. Cherador gets away from Cherador. And he'll go down at the 12 yard on the ground. Finally, pressure coming up. Keeping him in the pocket. Can't find anything. Cherador having the athletic ability that uh, could hurt them if they don't get it settled. Treon Harris turns around and hands off to Sabri Curtis, who runs right into a brick wall. Just stopping Georgia State. And big number 75, Chidi Okiki, now in at left tackle for the Tigers. Ball downfield, incomplete. Looking for the time him over there on the left side is great for this program. Third down and seven, 
And caught by Patrick Smith, and that should be enough for a first down at the 47. Matt, I'm just so taken back by the protection by this. It's first and 10 for the Tigers at their own 48. Sabri Curtis coming to the left side, finds himself a crevice and gets through it down to the 30. Time for Treon Harris. He slips through a crack and heads to the outside. Makes one man miss. And another Treon Harris. First down and more. Down to the. Treon Harris. He's like former Auburn Heisman Trophy winner Cam Newton. He's not just running in fear. He's, he's running to punish you and to. 16-yard line of Georgia State. Curtis cuts back. Picks up a couple back in 2014. Harris fires to the outside, and it's caught by the tight end Medley, who bowls his way down to the eight-yard line. Where Treyon Harris is most dangerous. you got to be able to keep him in the pocket. And there he goes. He's going to pick up the first down at the three-yard. Treyon Harris, so far in this game, is showing you he is a running quarterback. He's not just trying to get that one or two yards. Game first and goal to go for the Tigers. And the fullback, Terrence Harris, takes it in from four yards out. My physical is more physical than your physical. And the cutback right there on Brian Williams. Making something with his feet, and he's a dangerous, dangerous runner. Harris throws complete to the fullback. Knox, and Knox close to a first down. And first and ten. And Sabri Curtis in this Georgia State secondary. Second down and long. Harris stands in there. Fires complete to Patrick Smith. Smith has the first. And Harris showing his strength. Great protection up front. Showing his arm strength. Spiral. Just in those kind of passes as a head coach really gives you confidence to dial it up. Harris going for the home run. Underthrown at the nine yard line, but a flag is down. Actually, the ball being underthrown is what created the pass interference. Yep. With New Bowl having to come back to the ball. Alpelden. State, the FBS team. Tigers have never beaten an FBS team in their program history. Harris comes to the near side and steps out of bounds. What we're going to talk about at halftime is how to attack Treyon Harris when he leaves the pocket. Right there. Again, spending a lot of time in Georgia State territory in this first half. Sabri Curtis flags out as Curtis runs inside the five-yard line, gets shoved, transferred in from Ole Miss. Sometimes when you think. He had 197 tackles. Harris fires far to the outside, coming back to get it, and it is called. Write any notes down for him. I just put stud above his name. That's the kind of production he gave this team last year. He 15th of his career, tying him for number nine on the Tennessee State all-time list. Harris scrambling to the right, throws complete at the 10-yard line, and that's going to be a first down. And that's the one thing you get with Treon Harris. Those years that he was at Florida, even though he was out last year, the poise. For Treon Harris now in this ball game, first and 10. And Sabri. Our Georgia State. Still sleepwalking, especially on offense. Uh, but they have a lot of football to make up in this as this game goes on. All behind you. Third and goal to go. Harris being chased out of the pocket by Trailer. Trailer trying to run him down. Fires incomplete. The 47-yard line for Treon Harris, their quarterback. The fullback. Sabri Curtis gets cut down immediately in motion on third and ten. Harris, he's slippery, but not slippery enough as trade situation didn't come up with the same intensity. You can tell they have. They talked about Coach Fuquay. You got to go up and attack this. Have positive run plays with that kind of penetration. The former Florida Gators quarterback going to go deep across the middle and incomplete. In the end zone, that should have been a safety on Tennessee State, but the Panthers declined the penalty. Big hole right up the middle. Now it's a foot race. And Seth Rowland finally. Look, 
Allen and Simmons up the middle, just a big hole against his 3-4 defense. Those kind of runs are created by great golf. Seven. Do you take a shot at the end zone here? Harris scrambling to his right. He's got room to run if he wants to, and he does. Picks up the first down. Harris to get outside. You have to keep your assignment. He can never get out here. It's just a touchdown waiting to happen. When he first and ten. The injury to Earl Harrison. Gets the rock again. This time gets wrapped up and dropped for a. Rolling again. Tries to get to the sticks and comes up shy. Hand off. Rolling. He tripped, but he falls full. He stayed at the 12-yard line. Roland, who's been getting the bulk of the carries here defensively on the Panthers inside the five yard line. Now they've driven the length of the field. Pass is thrown to the end zone, and Patrick Smith cannot hold on to it. Trying to squeeze it, squeeze it into a tight door right there, getting it to his big man, Patrick. It's third down and 10 from the 12. Gonna run it again. Hasn't found a lane yet. Now gets to the edge and finds his way into the end zone. What a magician. There was nothing in the middle. Nice play here. He fakes it as though he's going right. He fakes it to the left, and then he keeps it himself. Kept picking up a couple of blocks right there by rolling on the end. Big block by the receiver. Just started getting in a rhythm. Treon Harris being chased out of the pocket. Throws downfield. Got his man Newbold, who makes a turn. And a first down to quarterback, <laughs> don't you think? Looks good here tonight. Sabri Curtis trying to get around the edge, and now he'll cut back, finding no room. Third quarter. Second down and 11. Curtis looking for a cutback lane. And third down and seven. Firing to Patrick Smith. He's not going to pick up the first. The running quarterback, not a mobile quarterback. Sabri Curtis dropped at the two. Complete to Patrick Smith. And Smith dropped at the 15. Ball fumbled and Harris gets on top. He put Georgia State in a deep hole. Keenan, that being a real strength of his game. Gonna keep it. And Harris dragged down third down and two. Roland scrambled forward to the 40. He's going to play big in this last drive. Sabri Curtis comes to the near side, and a flag comes out. Treon Harris throws it up for grabs and incomplete. And they're going to pass it again out of the end zone. Going up top and incomplete. Don't understand. Now they do run the ball, and Sabri Curtis gets stopped.